Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today we're going to talk about the maths facts of the number 25. So first up then, is 25 an odd or an even number? Well, the answer to this question is it's odd because it's not in the two times table. Our next question is, what are the factors of 25? So factors are the numbers which go into the number. So I'm going to start off my one times table. So one goes into 25, 25 times. Two doesn't go into 25. Three doesn't go into 25. Four doesn't go into 25. But five does. So five goes five times. And then I don't think there's going to be any more after that. So we've just got three factors here. So we've got one, five and twenty-five. So is twenty-five a prime number? Well the prime number has exactly two factors. This one has three factors. So, so the answer to this is no. Is twenty-five a square number? If it's a square number, you should be able to square root 25 and it should give you a whole number. Um, if it doesn't, it's not going to be a square number. So the square root of 25 is 5. So it has come out to a whole number. So the answer is yes, because 5 5 is a 25. Here's 25 a cube number. Well, similar to a square number, we should be able to cube root 25. Again, if it comes out as a whole number, it would be a square number. So it would be a cube number. So if we go shift cube root 25. So it's come out as a decimal. So the answer to this is no. And our final question, then, what is 25 in Roman numerals? Well, we can do an x for 10, another x for 10, so that's 20. And then we just need to do the 5, which is v. So, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.